say, what are you talking about, Mr. Melman? You ain't been living here long. I'm from Georgia, I didn't think to say from Georgia, Georgia. And back then, what happened was, uh, people, the black people had stopped celebrating. Juneteenth. Juneteenth was called their most, they began to have more freedom when they thought somebody was going to and all that. I come here in 66. I talked about this. Mr. Melman, what are you talking about? We don't celebrate that no more. And I got an article in the paper. Came out in the paper before we celebrated the first one. And uh, we started celebrating, and, you know, and I said, well, we always want to remember when the slaves were set free. A lot of people don't know what Jim did. That's the day that June 19, 1863, I think it was. They set the slaves free, and all that kind of stuff in the South. That's where Jim King started from now. So I come in, I organized, and I went back to my hometown in Georgetown, Texas, and organized it there. And now it just got so much bigger now. We have Miss Jim King pageant, the 5K run. Barbecue football, beach college football, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, okay. And the young generation just kind of just made them you know, more involved. And I used to tell people, the first few years we had it, people used to say, when you say Juneteenth, you say black. When you say uh, Cinco de Mayo, you say Hispanic. <laughs> One day my wife said, what about us, Miss Miller? I said, well, when you say white, it's like Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? After that, we start celebrating it. And then it started getting bigger and bigger, and we started at the park down here, the golf park, and all like that. You know, we just, uh, I think it's it's a good way for the community to get out. I, what I like is that people see a lot of the areas that they don't know about about the town. We're down at the Bocephus house, and you know, get people coming by and seeing the old neighborhoods, and uh, you know, if nothing else, getting folks out and giving them a reason, get out for some good barbecue. Yeah, that's right, good barbecue and everything. So we, uh, and you know, and I used to tell people, so people used to think. People when I started the year, they think when you say Juneteenth, you think black people. And then when you say Cinco de Mayo, you think Hispanic. And one of my white friends said, well, what about us, Miss Mel? I said, Fourth of July. He said, everybody said about Fourth of July. So I said, okay. <laughs> and now, and I put articles, I have so many articles in the paper, and they put articles in the paper. I said, this is open to the community. Yeah. And now, and like now, everybody's involved. When I had the first parade, man, they said, what? We hadn't had a parade in a long time, you know, and uh, this is the first time we had one, and this one's kind of unique in the car, you do a walk and all that. But, uh, well, when it's a, it's already getting close to 100 out here, I think you probably enjoyed being in the car this year, didn't you? I think so, I did. I enjoyed being in the car. It was Well, Liz, I'll let you get in the shade. Thanks for a round. The Union uh, first arrived on the shores of Galveston in Texas. And along the parade route is the Cephas House. Uh, this was brought up here recently in the city council. The money was approved, but there was a lot of discussion about how much of the home is going to be able to be saved. And for the size of the building in comparison. So uh, that uh, the money was approved. This is probably going to be an ongoing project, but it looks like they're going to finally start moving forward through the CIP budget this year. And in a repeat from last year, Jason Isaac is uh, out with the banner and uh, the folks, except this year he is now our new state representative for District 45. You slowed you down, man. <laughs> You're taking it slow and steady, huh? <laughs> so, how you doing for the Juneteenth parade? Thank you very much. I appreciate you saying so. Hey, how y'all doing today? Good. Sheriff Cutler, how you doing today?
I said PCA, what are we? Hi, Debbie. So I dropped the grub. How are we doing today? Doing good. <laughs> How you guys doing? There you go. Always good to be out. You know we're we're always out here. There you go. <laughs> hey y'all, how we doing? <laughs> hey Naomi, how you doing today? Jones, how are we doing today? Good. Doing good. Hey, you're not walking today? I'm not walking. Shoot, you should be ch you should be having him to chase you down now. You know it. <laughs> how you doing? You're not out walking today? <laughs> it's too darn hot. How you doing? Good to see you, gal. There you go. There you go. Enjoy the day. All righty. Bye, y'all. All righty. Good to touch. Mayor, how you doing today? Uh, well, that's good. I, I got my hug for the day, so that's good. I don't know. Well, <laughs> What? Oh, oh, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. There oh, we go. Oh, oh, there we go. I love this thing. What do you think, man? <laughs> There's a mayor. Oh, that's good. How y'all doing today? Good. There we go, that's a good one, Chris. <laughs> well, 
Well, Jason, it's a little different this year for the Juneteenth Parade than last year. And uh, what uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the coming out today on this Saturday here in San Marcos? Uh, I love coming out and doing the Juneteenth Parade. We did this parade last year. Very important to us. It means a lot to my family for personal reasons. My mom was born on Juneteenth. And so growing up, we learned a lot about the history, about how important this day is to Texans as a whole. So uh, just honored to do a parade on, on Juneteenth uh, and look forward to doing many more. Well, good. And uh, look good to, look forward to having you back again. And uh, you're back up there working hard again this week, aren't you? We are. We're back to work uh, two days from now. On Monday, we'll be back Monday working. I think we've probably got about another week, maybe 10 days left of this special session. We're working hard for Texans. Well, thank you very much. Jason. Isaac, uh, House District 45, uh, here in San Marcos on the Juneteenth Parade 2011. Thanks, Thank Rob. you. I'm everywhere. <laughs> well, there's everything going on around town. Now that's an array of trophies there now. <laughs> And you're looking to add another one from today, right? <laughs> Two or three, huh? There you go. <laughs> so what, what's going to get you your trophy today? So you're going to kick it the brisket, the chicken, and the ribs, huh? Yeah, take it all. There you go. <laughs> well, that's a good luck to you guys. Thanks, man. I'm out of my cards right now, but uh, we do a show every Thursday night. That's the winner right there. That's the winner right there. <laughs> oh, there you go. You got you got a full cooker full of winners there. Oh yeah. Well, now your buddy over there said first place all the way. Well, I'm he got competition with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think second behind him. Oh, okay. That ain't a bad place to be behind them two. You see what they got? Yeah. <laughs> they got proof they good. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Something smelling good. What you cooking up over here? What you cooking up? Oh, okay. There you go, ahead and get the tunes, jam in, there you are. <laughs> Today. I like the stick. That's a cool one. That's your that's your personal one, huh? No, my personal one is uh. There he is, right here. How do you find these and make these, sir? That's my personal one, right here. That's your personal one there. Oh, and I like that one. Yeah. I make these. I used to work for the city park and recreation. Uh huh. And every time I come, I had a bad back. And I started making canes and wind charms. It was made out of that tree over there. That big tree over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that crepe myrtle. Made out of. And that's that's what a lot of this wood's made out of. Yeah, well, they, I find that there's, they always curve really neat and give you some neat look to it, yeah. Because I've uh, we were helping uh, Miss Ollie uh, a few months back. We're cutting down some of hers, and I got some that really, they've got... I would have known that I would have been over there. Yeah, because she's got some real nice ones. I saved some of the good ones on that because they've got some good twists in them. And, uh, neat. I make all of these. 
Well, thanks. All right, nice to meet you. It's my wife's dad. Good. You ready to do some barbecue on Juneteenth? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let's stay cool while you can, huh? <laughs> Something new in town. Guys, tell me about St. Peter's. St. Peter's. All fresh, gourmet, ingredients, made on site. Um, we got three different pitas on the board right now in a salad. The menu will probably be changed up over time. But, uh, so, you guys are here in the back of the. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, it used to be the pizza place and uh, yeah, yeah. all Mr. Gaddy's. Mr. Gaddy's, now it's Picasso's. Picasso's has come and gone, and now it's the era of the hitch. Yeah. Uh, St. Peter's is the sunshine guy area. <laughs> Sounds good. Now, what time are you guys out here? We open up at 11, and we close at 9, Wednesday through Sunday. Uh -huh. On Monday and Tuesday. Well, there's something else coming to town, something new. Get out, get involved, and come on down. St. Peter's, they've got some good fresh food for you and a good crew ready to rock and roll for you. Thanks, guys. Lots available. Two of them, we already have trailers. We're going to have another trailer coming in pretty soon. I think a ton of trailers going to be coming. And uh, then the other five, as far as I know, are up for grabs. So it's just a place downtown where people can come and park and sit out and get yeah, the food. Yeah, together, a place where people can get together. You have, in the end, you're going to have eight options, so, you know. Like right now, we only have two, but it works well. You can come get a pita wrap, get a drink, and then you can walk over here and have cupcakes and gelato for dessert. Cool. So, and you're right up the street here from the uh, from the river? I mean, you know, yeah, that's right a... next to the river. It's a great location, and I think it's going to be a big day with all the college kids. When they come that's cool. Out. Now, do you... Um, did you graduate here, or how'd you get started in this? I graduated at Wembley High School, hung out in Wembley for a little while, got a job at the Leaning Pair, actually as a dishwasher originally. <laughs> you got to start. Moved up to Line Cook at the Leaning Pair, which the owners of St. Peter's on the Leaning Pair, which is a eatery in Wimberley, Texas, right next to uh, Wimberley. That's about 30 minutes away from San Marcos. So. Not even hardly that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not even. So I worked there, moved up to Line the owner, Matthew Buchanan, offered me the option to have oh, okay. management over here. So, so I you I are. So you got your own little place in a uh, uh, 10 by 40 foot and, <laughs> yeah. and uh, give it a shot. Hey, real cool. Your name again? Jacob. I'm Jacob. Jake.
And we're out with lots of wind here on a Saturday, checking out some of the changes going on around the downtown area. And uh, we're just uh, back off uh, San Antonio Street and uh, CM Allen by the Farmer's Market. And we'll find out uh, what's going on with some of the buildings here and some of the uh, changes going on. Tourist Information Center. We're here on I-35 and this is where a lot of people will start their visit to San Marcos or they may pass it by as well but uh, tourism is still a significant portion of our business uh, here in San Marcos and uh, we're gonna go in and see uh, who the people are and uh, that talk about San Marcos and uh, what people are asking. Um, the identity problems. Um, the only info I know is about really San Marcos. Um, uh, basically, uh, the line of folks that, the what? Oh, yes, it's, it's, it's very clear. Um, they had water to hide. Mm -hmm. ask? Oh, what? Anyone in Bushman? Yeah, it's Sunday morning, June 19th, Father's Day on 2011. And we are starting off our hike just off of McCarty and Hunter Road. And we are heading back, kind of doing a transect. Headed up towards 